Hey fellow YouTubers, welcome to Actar's Figure Reviews, where we'll be reviewing the latest and greatest anime figures. So stick around and enjoy! Hey, this is Actar with another Code Geass theme review. Today we are having the Gurren Nishiki. The Action Nightmare Frame Gurren Nishiki. I bought this from Hobby Search a few days ago and it's time to review this guy. So what this is, is unlike the model, Gurren Nishiki model which I reviewed previously, this is actually a, a completed action figure. Uh, no assembly required. Uh, but for those of you who don't know what the Gurren is, let me just explain a little bit. Uh, the Gurren Nishiki is a Nightmare Frame, which uh, what the max are called in Code Geass. Um, this Grenishki is actually pilot, piloted by Kalen Statfield. Here's a figure of Kalen I bought previously. Very nice. The Grenishki is a completely made in Japanese, uh, made in Japan model, and it signifies Japanese independence. So let's just go and go through the box. Go to the box. Uh, we have the Grenishki. We have Kalen with Grenishki. We have the Code Geass logo. We have a picture of the Gurunishki. At the back, we see some of the features and accessories of the uh, of the Gurunishki itself, the figure itself. Uh, we have some screenshots of the enemy, three to be exact. Some description to a certain extent, and that's about it. Now, one flaw of this figure, because I've already opened it, is that it is absolutely tiny, and we can see so from the box. Let's take Figma and Lelouch into comparison. It's almost as tall as the box. Now, when I bought this figure, I thought it was going to be huge, like the Lancelot, the completed action figure. But it was so disappointing to find out the box is as tall as a PSP. The old first generation one, to be exact. This thing is absolutely tiny. Alright, so let's just open the figure and take a look at it. Here's the figure. See that it comes with a base. Stand, two different exchangeable hands, and a dagger. So this is the figure itself. If it doesn't look like it to you, it's absolutely tiny and minuscule. It's so fragile. Just in, just to put it in comparison, just put it in comparison. Let me just bring over the model, the model which I reviewed before. So here's the completed action figure, and this is the model. A huge, 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 huge difference. Just look at the diff si difference in size. And also the color is different. Uh, although this is made of smooth plastic, we have a matte finish on this. Alright, let's go through the articulation and features of the figure. Well, we have a uh, full articulation of the arms, of course. Forwards, backwards, uh, forwards, backwards, turns at the wrist. Wrist, nothing much to say there. Uh, the gun, we have um, forwards, back, forwards, backwards of the arms, forwards, backwards of this one. Uh, fingers are on ball joints. The thumb is on a single ball joint. We have uh, waist articulation. Yes, we have waist articulation. No forwards and back. Uh, we have forwards and back of the legs. We also have forwards and back, back of the... Uh, Knees, uh, toes, toes. You have a, the toes are on ball joints. Nice. These these things, ankle joints, thingies are also on, uh, also movable. Mm. And also, like the other one, we have the land spinner. I believe that's what it's called, so that you can actually look like it's moving. One of the features of the Code Gears Max, which I've, you see, are very cool. And also, uh, well, okay, let's just go on to the features of this model. So the first feature is that it's retractable head. For those of you who watch Code Geass, you know that this is what it looks like um, when it is inactive or unactivated. So to get the head up, all you have to do is pull it up like so. And that's all it will go. And that's it. And yes, yeah, that's all it will go. So uh, this is what it looks like with its head up. Hmm. 
uh, it does feature head articulation to a certain extent at least left right up and down uh, it's extremely extremely loose and fragile uh, it's on a ball joint as you can see uh, his next feature is his uh, again his extendable claw arm which you can do like so his extendable claw arm I forgot to mention that this is also on a double jointed thing so very possible so but unlike the other Gurunishki figure the model this one does not feature its third joint which is to say this we go to model the Gurunishki model we have one two and we have an extra third joint like so to make the arm even longer and more show accurate so in terms of show accuracy this figure is not really looking very good I uh, hit the camera there sorry about that um, and that's about it for the figure uh, the cockpit does not open up unlike uh, this figure and let me just mention something which I forgot to in the Green HD model review is that if you remove the cockpit you can actually there's a slot here where you can put it in put the uh, cockpit door in to actually make it look like it's open which is extremely cool very nice figure uh, not looking too good for the action figure mind you Let's see, let's go through his accessories. We have a stand. Mm, okay, stand, it's a stand. We have a base, with one hole. And let's see what it comes with. We have one hand that is open. We have another that is clenched. And the hand that he comes with, and the hand that he comes with is also clenched. By the way, this clench hand has a little hole there. Not sure whether you can see it in the camera. There we go. There's a little hole there to actually put the dagger. And this dagger, unlike the model, is actually painted. So what you can do is take his hand, uh, place the dagger in it. And, uh, after that, take his hand out and put it in. So in short, do I recommend getting this figure at all? Definitely not. For a couple of reasons, it's uh, extremely tiny. Uh, its articulation is good, but it's very fragile. Its joints are pretty loose. Uh, it, it is pretty accurate, but uh, if you had a choice, get the model. Personally, personally this one cost me 30 over dollars. 30 over US dollars, so 3,000 plus yen. Well, this one, although I had to fix myself, was like, uh, if I'm not mistaken, 2,800 yen. So definitely get this figure for a couple of reasons. And let me just do a quick comparison. We have sharper, more show accurate claws. This one, we have stumpy, short claws. Uh, we also have a third joint over here in the extendable arm. We have no third joint here in the extendable arm. Its dagger, although unpainted, looks sharp and menacing. Show accurate, like the grin should be. Uh, painted and stumpy. His his uh, belt strap and his wheels are actually made of rubber. Or uh, this one, the belt strap, although it feels like rubber, mm, his wheels are not. And finally, if we take a look at the the land spinner, we see that this one is actually much much thinner and sleeker than this one, which is again shorter and stumpier. I don't know whether they try to give a whole chibi feel to this uh, figure or not, but I would not recommend you pick this figure up. Instead, if you want a completed action figure of the Gurren, wait until the in-action offshoot version comes out uh, at the end of July. It should be... I will be getting that as well, and it should be better than this. Ten times better, in fact, because it even features exchangeable claw arm to make it look like the second version. But anyway, this is Zekta saying, see you guys in the next episode. Ugh, it's a horrible figure. This is Zekta, and thanks for watching.